Hi everyone, um, I've made this little YouTube video today because I really hope that all you pocket watch collectors or tinkerers or anyone who likes um, uh, pocket watches uh, might be able to help me with some information about this beautiful watch that I picked up yesterday at the Nashmark Flea Market in Vienna. Um, this is a super flea market that's held every Saturday and you can really find some treasures there. And I picked this pocket watch up yesterday for a crazy price. I think it's a crazy price of only five euros. Um, now it's five euros because at the moment it's not functioning, but it really is a lovely thing. And I was drawn to it a little bit by the name, to be honest, because I thought it was quite steampunky, Mysteria. Um, it's in pretty good condition. I mean, to be fair, I have uh, cleaned it up a little bit yesterday. Uh, the back in particular was very um, pitted and dirty and you can see there's still a little bit of work to go in polishing that up and I'll wait and see about how far I take that because I don't want to lose I don't want to make it like brand brand new but um, if I can get it a little bit better than that I will continue and maybe try it on a, um, a polishing wheel or something like that and the reason I'm putting it on Facebook uh, um, YouTube sorry is that when you google it uh, there is a little bit of information and some people have uploaded uh, little videos of Mysteria pocket watches and I think Mysteria possibly is linked more to the um, the casing in not the casing the mechanism inside what I have been able to find out is that it is Swiss made um, early 1900s it's not working at the moment but if I can try and get it working I would really love that um, it may end up that I have to take it to a, a jeweler and uh, or a watch repairer to see if it's possible but let me show you the back of it which is quite interesting um, in the back you can see uh, if I bring it in closer the Mysteria uh, engraving on it with a really interesting um, engraving there I, I guess that's how the, the correct direction for it uh, and I'd love to know if anybody knows uh, what this particular pattern signifies is it the maker um, I've seen a few Mysteria um, watch images on Google, uh, some that don't have them, some with a, a company brand name Tacy or T-A-C-Y, which I believe is uh, a combination of two companies, a Swiss made company called um, Tavanis or Tavans, something like that from Switzerland, and Sima or Sima, C-Y-M-A. So I've seen engravings on the back of Mysteria watches that say, T-A-C-Y as a company. Um, the movement uh, of that little balance wheel kind of moves a little bit and you can see the um, the winding mechanism here is, is not spinning or winding. I was a bit frustrated because yesterday when I was cleaning it I managed to clean the inside a little bit oh, and incidentally there is a very very faint engraving here. I don't know if we can pick that up. Ah there you go. It says P-B inside a little kind of shape in there and again if anybody knows what that PB means I'd be super interested and really grateful if they could let me know I was looking at some videos thankfully some people put up open face pocket watches how they dismantle them and take them apart and my partner does have a watch repair kit so yesterday I was able to use uh, a case opening knife a special knife because there's a little uh, sort of notch just in here it's very faint you can hardly see it where you put a, um, a case opening knife in there and lever off the front case and I was able to take that off and actually pop off both the hands which are these blued a kind of blued finish moon hands I think they're called and we have a special remover to take those off and the the second hand and I cleaned the um, it looks like an enamel or uh, clock face on there a little bit but what I'd really like to do is take the whole mechanism out so I can properly clean the casing I mean it's really difficult to get to the edges and things that you can see there and what I have been able to establish so far is that I would need to remove that screw that casing screw there and this watch has one missing so I guess a, a watch repairer would probably be able to replace that and I think if I'm correct that this tiny screw here, that, well if I undo that, that enables you to take the winding mechanism out, it's like a pin, um, and once that's taken out 
and the hands are removed, the mechanism comes out in one piece. And then you need the relevant tiny, tiny little screwdrivers. And if you remove one, two, I think three, four here, that would lift this section off. And from that, I might be able to see why it is that this watch doesn't work anymore. Now, I'm absolutely not um, an expert in watch repair. Uh, it might be a crazy thing to do to take it apart if you don't know what you're doing. And my intention is not to take it apart um, at the moment because the watch repair kit that I have, unbelievably, even though it has tiny screwdrivers, they still don't fit um, these really small screws. And I'm not going to try and force that because without the right screwdrivers, I'm just going to mangle up those precious little screws. So I will either you know, um, price up maybe some proper horological uh, jewellery screwdrivers. Um, or I might initially just take it to a watch repairer and say, OK, first of all, do you have a screw for that? And if you were able to take it off, are you able to diagnose and tell me? Is it repairable? Um, because I would love, I would love that it would be working again. Um, I don't think it's a particularly expensive watch. I mean, I, I think this casing is, I don't know what it's made of, some kind of nickel steel. Um, but it's again a really nice piece, and I think the reputation of this Mysteria, um, it has a good reputation for watches of its kind. They seem to be quite collectible. Um, it's a really nice hand charm again. It feels lovely. And I must admit, I've always, I've kind of had a, a a fascination for pocket watches. I think modern pocket watches are okay, but when I see these all the time on flea markets, they look so neglected and, and disposed of. And you always wonder a little bit about the history. Who owned it? Whose watch was it? Did they hand it down to a son or a, a grandson? And, you know, I'd love to know the story behind it. I never will know, but what I would really like to know is a little bit more about either the company that produced this watch, um, the background to it, um, roughly how old it is. I think these Arabic style numbers are supposed to be post 1900. Um, I think earlier they had Roman numerals on them. So if there are any awesome pocket watch collectors out there who have got any information about this watch, um, I heard that one producer that may have used this mechanism, the uh, Tavanis, uh, company in in Switzerland had a huge fire in the 1940s and they lost all their archives and records and brochures which is why I think possibly there's a limited access on online to material about the background to this watch even if it is them that made it I don't know really so if you have any information um, this is part one maybe of uh, a series if I'm able to restore this watch or tinker with it I'll put more videos up but at the moment, it's an initial search for information from people out there on the uh, the internet. So if you've got any information, please uh, message me um, below in the comments. I'd love to find out a little bit more. And who knows, one day you might hear this watch ticking away and functioning again. I'd love that. So watch this space. And thank you for your time. <laughs>